know if there's one thing that I'm uncomfortable with, it's cooking. <laughs> you can do it. It's definitely not my thing. But, Just uh, make sure you season it correctly. <laughs> okay, see, there we go. You already got me right. I love to cook. I wouldn't say I love it. He actually made me gnocchi with sausage, and that was the only meal he really ever cooked for me, <laughs> and it was the one time thing. It was good, though. It was very good, it was very good. I'm gonna throw this bad boy on here. It's kinda hot. So do I have to season the other side, too? Yeah, I would. You should have had me cook the steak. We kind of have like a little thing called steak night and we'll cook them in different cuts and different types. Drew and I are apart a lot of times, so I think it's good for not only us to connect, but also for us to connect with our kids. I know that both of my kids really enjoy having everyone at the table. I feel like we were raised that way. Just to be able to carry that on with our kids is, is really cool. Wow, yours is good. <laughs> I know I don't cook that much, but mine's gonna look way better than yours. I think I'm gonna make mine look like a five-star restaurant. You're gonna make a five-star. I'm gonna make a six-star. You're awfully confident, babe. You gotta be, especially when you're cooking good. <laughs> For us, going against each other is always going to be more difficult. We do have to live together, and we're both extremely competitive. She's extremely competitive. <laughs> okay, throw a little garnish on there, make it look pretty. I see you. You need some help with that? I could, you know what I mean? I'm good at assisting people. <laughs> Hold on, let me plate it. A little lemon next to it. This is looking real delicious. Your steak looks solid. A nice temperature. I see the juices. It looks very tasty. You did your thing. I think you did a great job. I don't think yours is better than mine, but I'm proud of how oh. hard you tried. Thank you. We cook maybe four nights a week. What we put in our body is really important, especially as elite athletes. Eating sustainable foods is huge. Especially with kids, too. We're very conscious of what we put in their bodies as well. And even like my daughter, she can tell the difference between like good meat and bad meat. Let's see how you did. Wow, I'm impressed. That's really good. Can I say I perform under pressure, baby? Looks like a six-star restaurant. <laughs> the salmon was amazing, and it was just salt and pepper on there. I don't know if it was the one who prepared it. I'm sure it's because, again, it was sustainable and it was healthy. It just tastes so fresh, and it was light. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, you did your thing on the steak. Thank you. It's nice and tender. It's easy to cut through. It's like butter, baby. It's really hard to get to the grocery store, especially with our hectic lifestyles. Let's see what we got here. Having butcher box and knowing that there's going to be meat in the freezer, it's a huge relief for me to cook dinner. This is a nice meal, just a little date night action, just us two. So you're saying we'll do it again? Yeah, maybe next time we can uh, we can cook for our friends and our family and make them judges. Deal. You sound real confident when you said that. I am. Made me a little nervous. <laughs>